Hi all, my name is Sandeep and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to build one AI agent application for data analysis and it's good, going to be very interesting. So let's get started. So here uh, we'll build one uh, streamlit AI application with AI agent for data analysis. And in this project, um, we are going to use, you know, Phi data which is a very good framework for building agenting applications. We'll also use uh, DuckDB agent, DuckDB agent and Llama 3.3 uh, model. That is the latest open source, latest LLM. So we'll be building uh, this uh, application with Streamlit library in Python. And here we'll uh, basically build one AI agent which will do the data analysis. So this uh, DuckDB agent, that is a part of PyData only. It's a specialized agent that allows users to analyze data using DuckDB database engine within the PyData platform. So it's a part of PyData platform. So here basically it allows the users. There's a specialized agent, this DuckDB agent in PyData, that's a part of PyData that is a specialized agent which allows users to analyze data using DuckDB database engine, DuckDB database engine within this five data platform. So essentially it enables the users to do direct SQL queries, which is really interesting. So direct SQL queries and also data manipulation on data sets through the powerful analytical capabilities of DuckDB. So this DuckDB has a lot of powerful analytical capabilities, but the most important thing is that it enables the user, sorry, AI agent to do the direct uh, SQL queries, run direct SQL queries and extract the important information or insight from the data. So it is very useful for the data analysis. So after launching the Streamlit application, user needs to upload the CSV file containing data. So it could be any CSV file. In our present study, we are using one uh, CSV file containing some uh, banking transaction data, uh, basically for you know fraud detection, banking transactions data for fraud, fraud detections. So that uh, data set, the CSV data I uh, downloaded from the Kaggle. It's a very recent data, very useful for this kind of analysis. But in reality, you know, you can upload any uh, data, any CSV data of any domain. So after launching the application, user needs to upload the CSV file containing data then they can type any question for analyzing or getting some insight from the data. So user can type any question and uh, just for getting some insight from the data or analyzing the data, any question. And then all they need to do is to click on the analyze button. There is a button called analyze and user needs to click on that and then our data analyst agent, which we created with Phi data with the help of DuckDB and LLM, which is in our case, it is Llama 3.3, will answer the question. So it will answer all the questions one by one. So it's going to be very interesting. So we'll see the app in action. So I'll just launch the app and show you. So for launching, it's just simply run and this uh, name of the our Python script is data underscore analyst AI agent dot app. So let's launch. So this is how it looks like our app data analysis by AI agent. I added some interesting, I created and added some logo here to make it look very nice. So as you can see here, uh, you have to upload the CSV file and then you have to type your question and click on analyze. 
But before that, I'll show you the data that we are going to analyze today. So it's a uh, banking transaction um, data for fraud detections. So as you can see, there are, uh, uh, I mean, various columns, uh, customer ID, customer name, gender, age, state, um, city, uh, bank branch, account type, transaction ID, and so on. And then uh, you will find this uh, account balance, uh, all these things, the transaction amount, uh, device type, from which device the transaction happened, uh, uh, and then is fraud, binary, whether it's a fraudulent transaction or legitimate transaction, zero for legitimate transaction, one for fraudulent transaction. And then uh, currency, it is Indian rupees, and then some customer contact details are there, which we are not interested in much. So if you look at this, uh, basically there are, you know, um, 200,000 transactions are there total, two lakh transactions. And uh, when you look at any uh, CSB data like this, so banking transactions or fraud detections, uh, especially because here our main interest is fraud detection. So naturally, the question will come to our mind uh, that is uh, total how many transactions are there? Like out of uh, these many transactions, what is the number of fraudulent transactions? What is the number of legitimate transactions? Then um, we need to be very curious here for analyzing the data. Like uh, what is the total amount lost by bank or let's say customers uh, due to fraudulent transactions? So all these kinds of questions and then um, uh, also, you, we have we have uh, you know state-wise um, data here. So we may ask one question like, uh, which state uh, uh, corresponds to the highest number of fraudulent transactions, or maybe which city um, among all the fraudulent transactions, fraud transactions, which city? Uh, you know, corresponds to the highest number of fraudulent transactions, then the device also, uh, which transaction device was used uh, or which transaction device was responsible for the maximum number of fraudulent transactions and so on. So you, we can ask all these kind of questions to our uh, data analysis uh, AI agent and then uh, it will answer all of our questions. So let's see it in action. So uh, first of all, we need to uh, upload the um, CSV file. So this is the one bank transaction fraud detection. It's uploaded already and then I will ask a question. I already have the questions here um, and I'll just copy and paste it there to save time. So how many transactions are there? And then let's click on analyze. It will take some time. Yeah, so it has answered correctly. It is, I already verified all the answers. Um, so 20, 200,000, that is two lakhs total transactions. So our next question is how many of the transactions are found to be fraud? Out of two lakhs transactions, how many transactions are fraud transactions, fraudulent transactions? <clears throat> It will take some time. <clears throat> Notice here when it is going on. So for each and every question that we ask uh, our uh, data analyst agent, so it will uh, create and run the corresponding you know, SQL query for this year, as you can see from here. So it is basically running a query, a SQL query, for each and every question that we are asking. So with the help of LLM, it basically extracts the right field and what exactly information user is looking for, and accordingly it is creating a query, a SQL query and running it. 
yeah it has answered it correctly so it is 10088 so i already verified all these answers they are all correct another question i asked um, what is the total amount of all fraudulent transactions total amount of all fraudulent transaction means how much money uh, bank lost or uh, customers uh, lost due to fraudulent transactions and it has uh, answered it correctly the total amount of all fraudulent transaction is around uh, 4.9 uh, 49 uh, 9.7 crore around 50 crore around 50 crore rupees so it is yeah 49.7 crore and 50 crore rupees and i verified it it's correct so that way we have to ask any questions and our uh, data analysis um, data analyst ai agent will answer all of our questions whatever questions we have uh, in our mind from our uh, csv file data any question we can ask uh, to get the insight of the data and our uh, data analyst ai agent will answer all of these questions okay now we'll go through the code so basically it's a um, just 85 86 7 lines of python code basically simple first you have to import the required libraries like json and uh, file agent dot dark db from file agent dot dark db import dark db agent Uh, remember you have to uh, install dagdb using pip pip install dagdb <coughs> and file data also you have to install so then you have to import all this file agent uh, from file dot agent import agent class then uh, file dot model dot grog uh, import grog streamlit also import streamlit and all the required libraries you have to import then uh, this is our main function analyze data here you have we are passing the query that you user is asking about the data csv data and then here uh, <coughs> so we have already imported this dark db agent class this one um, and then uh, here you have to specify the model that we are, you are going to use we are using llama 3.3 uh, 70v versatile model through grok cloud and um, then here um, in the tables you have to give some name of your table this bit will in our case it is bank transaction fraud detection description contains banking transaction data for fraud detection and then path uh, dot slash data dot csv the data dot csv this will be when you upload it will be saved in your current working directory okay the structured output equal to true then here in the output equal to uh, data analyst um, uh agent dot run this agent we have just created data analyst agent so dot run and then here you have to pass the query and uh, also you have to add this line the in your response please only mention the answer and nothing else stream is equal to false and then answer equal to output dot content and then return answer you are returning the answer and anyway, this is our front end code simple it's written streamlit and uh, first uh, here uh, the the title uh, data analysis by agent Uh, use markdown and then uh, we are uh, basically adding one logo here st dot image and uh, we are uploading the csv here and locally save it here in this name data dot csv then here uh, user is typing the query in the st dot text underscore input and uh, then uh, in the st dot markdown uh, here uh, we are creating some design of this uh, button Uh, that analyze button actually adding color etc and uh, this last one is the analyze button when user will click on this analyze button then it will execute this uh, function uh, analyze underscore data this one this function will be called and executed and then finally you will have the answer that's it It's a simple uh, 786 lines of code okay so you can uh, in reality you can uh, like upload any csv file it doesn't need to be a banking transaction related uh, csv data it could be anything and you can ask any question to your uh, data analysis agent 
that's all for this video i hope you have liked it uh, if you like please give a thumbs up and also please subscribe my channels and also please write your comments or feedback i would really love to see them um thank you very much for your time thank you bye